the Ontario Federation of Anglers and Hunters proudly presents Angler and Hunter Television. Brought to you by Canadian Tire, Burris Optics, Mercury Marine and Lund Boats, Yamaha ATVs, Browning Ammunition, Browning Firearms, Suffolk Fishing Line, Rapala, Camillus Knives and Cuda Tools, Excalibur Crossbones, and Yukon Gear. Spending time outdoors with my daughter has to be one of my favorite things to do. Hiking, camping, hunting, fishing are all things I love to do. And I'm lucky to have a daughter that enjoys spending time outdoors doing these same things with me. From fly-in fishing trips to ATV rides in the backwoods, this 11-year-old picks up on things pretty quick. Yeah! Sit! Hey, Brownie! Oh, boy. But when I told her I was going to teach her to walk the dog, she was a little confused. Okay, you ready to walk the dog? Yeah, but Brownie's in here. Do you even know what I'm talking about? Nope. Okay, so, we're going to fish top water. Okay, now, these lures, the way they're shaped, if you twitch your rod tip back and forth, it's going to move side to side like this. Okay. So it's going to skate left, then right. Mm -hmm. Left, then right. Mm -hmm. And if you get a cadence going with your rod and you're real slow, it's called walking the dog. So watch, oh. I'm going to show you. This is the rod you're going to be using, right? But the lures don't look like a dog. <laughs> okay, so and you're not walking. See your lure out there? Right, left, right. See this? It's a dance party. See this? See what I'm doing? Pop, yeah. pop, pop. But you got to turn the reel handle slowly while you do it, and it's called walking the dog. It's that simple. And it drives fish crazy. Hopefully we're going to be catching bass, smallmouth, and maybe largemouth. But you know what else likes these lures? Bananas. Muskies. <laughs> Muskies hate walking the dog style lures. I, it was close. Bananas are really long like muskies. That's close. <laughs> so here you go. I want to see you walk the dog. Oh, no. So I just... Real slow and just make your rod tip go up and down. A little, you got a harder rod tip. Real slower. There you go. This is very difficult. Yeah, see, it's not easy. Now it's easier if you point your rod tip down and do this when you're reeling. Oh. No, just do this. Okay. And reel. There, see it go? Well, you had a fish behind you. Oh. Look at the eyes on my lure. See that? <laughs> dun dun! Isn't that cool? It's like a dead emoji or something. Yeah. Right there, I got him. Oh, he's off! I got him! He came back and ate it. Oh, it's huge! <laughs> Whoa! That a girl! Fast on the net! Where is it? I just finished saying this corner's good. He's down there. Now you gotta be careful. I got medium action rods. 10 pound leader, 15 pound braid, and I might drag. No, no, keep the net up here until he's ready. Okay? Look at this fish. Look how strong it is. I think he's off or he's in the weeds. I can't move him. Here he comes. Here he comes. No, nope, no spear. Oh, there he is. I'll tell you when. He's got treble hooks, right? So if he pulls too hard, They'll rip out of his head. Ouch. Look at this. Here he comes. Oh. Okay, the next time, just put the rim of the net in the water for me. Now, scoop out. That a girl. Woo! That's what you walk the dog. And that's the result. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> I'm putting the talons down while we deal with this because this is a good spot. Big one. Now, just, did you see that happen? Mm -hmm. So you notice how I guess that fish swirled mm -hmm. and then right. I didn't hook him and then he came back and I got him and that's a big smallie. Look at that fish kid. Huge. Give him a kiss. No. No? Not kissing a fish. 
Beautiful. Disgusting. Perfect example of the results you can get walking the dog. Uh huh. Huh? You want to hold them up for everybody? No. Not my okay. fish. Wow, not her fish. Get bigger. <laughs> This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Yamaha ATVs. The bite's turning on. Maybe we'll get some big ones. Once Maybe. that sun starts to set. Yeah. Walking the dog is a term for a time-tested and proven technique for triggering bass into smashing a topwater lure. Ah! You got him, you got him! And with getting oh. our hands on a yep. new bait called the dual pitch from Hurry. 13 Fishing, we had every reason to hit the water and see if walking the dog would get the fish fired up. It jumped over the net! Lift it again! <laughs> it doesn't want to be caught! I can't believe it jumped over the net. I did it that time. How's your heart? Like... <laughs> Gonna need the kudos. Now you see how he's got the front hook in his mouth? Yeah. He slashed at it, obviously. It's a good one, August. That's more like it, hey? Is it a large mouth? Small, eh? Here, let him go. But I thought small mouths have like big dots all over. No, they're stripes. Large mouths have a green stripe this way. Small mouths are mottled. But, see? Oh, see, they do have spots yeah. at the top. Okay, let it go. Get a good grip. Just let it, let her go right there. Nice and easy. Whoa! Oh, or flip out of my hand. That was a finesse release. <laughs> my daughter. Watch out, there's a hook on the floor. Ah! Okay. Kids are fast learners, and any parent that has a smartphone, laptop, or tablet... Oh, good cast, <laughs> August. Wow. ...can attest that we often underestimate what our kids are capable of. Beauty. Where are you hauling? I want to get one. I want to get When's one. my turn? Got him. You got oh, 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 did you see the size of that bass? Smallmouth can be one of the most aggressive topwater bites you can get. August, it was massive. And a common mistake is to set the hook too fast. It was gigantic, August. One piece of advice I can give is it's better to wait and feel pressure than to pull the bait out of the fish's mouth. Sure, there'll be days where they do spit it out. There he is, he missed it. But they will far outweigh the times you set the hook only to find you miss the fish. Oh, got him, reel in. Is he off? Oh, he shook your lure and jumped and got off. Did you see that? <laughs> Already in this fishing trip, we've had, I don't know, three or four. Five almost? Smallies come up and swirl on this. And it is a, a, a known thing that smallies will miss this bait a lot and they'll come back and hit it on the second strike. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna customize these baits a little bit. I'm gonna take these rear trebles off and I'm gonna replace them. We're gonna use a chicken feather trailer and then VMT's got these new bladed trailers. So see what I'm doing, kiddo? Yeah. So one thing to remember when you're taking a treble hook off. Okay, that one's out. Now you want to put the replacement one on the same way. Now it's only easy if you have the proper tools on board. Like this one. Yeah, you know what that is? No. So Kuda makes that and that's a split ring plier. Now all you do is just turn this. But that hook's still on it. But watch, see now I'm going to spin them both. Right? Whoa. One comes off, can you get it? Okay, so now we've got two customized dual pitch top water baits. One with a chicken feather and one with a hybrid blade that's gonna spin. So what that does is now, not so much the action, but when you stop that lure, if a fish misses it or swirls on it, it's gonna focus in on that and eat it. Okay? Uh-huh. Like you were focused in on me. You focused? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, you ready now? We have no excuses, and we're gonna have to have a fishing contest. Whose lure catches more? The oh, hybrid no, so spinner? Can we trade? Or the chicken feather? <laughs> Catch a bass. Okay. Shablamo! Let's walk these dogs. Getting the cadence and reel timing down is a bit of a challenge for anyone who hasn't tried this before. It's easier than walking brownie. Oh, yeah. When well, he pulls and bites on the leash? Yeah, and runs away and goes crazy. It's very hard to control him. If you get a blow up and don't hook a fish, it's common to think that you missed that chance. We oh, missed it. And then reel in quickly. But it's super important to leave the lure where it is. He missed it again. Got him. 
Got one, August. As the fish will often circle back and take another shot at it. It's in the weeds. Do you need the net? No, it's just a baby. Oh, you don't need a net? Okay. But, guess what happened? He missed it, came back. Then he missed it? No. Then he got it. And he, I got what on there? A large mouth? The chicken feather. But you got a large mouth. No, oh, it's a small mouth. But it doesn't have spots on it. The chicken feathers worked. Oh God, be careful. You need pliers when doing this. Treble hooks are deadly, right August? And they carried your hands. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> then you have zombie hands and you're like, oh. <laughs> Everybody's gonna know my secret now because there's some cabbage weed attached to that lure. Bass are hiding in the cabbage. <laughs> Little baby. Cool, huh? <laughs> This portion of Angler and Hunter Television brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. Holy, it's hot. I'm going to drink a water. Yeah, girl. Stay hydrated. Well, I, catch I already drank a whole bottle. You're something else, kid. I am? You are. See what's right here? Look at them. A spray. Oh, my God. It's all out. Goodbye, baby. Fish bird. Fish hawk. Yes, I know I just called it a fish bird. You did call it a fish bird. <laughs> right there, I'm gonna catch a giant fish. Under the fish bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. Here comes the fish. <laughs> it's a baby. Oh, did you catch but it? It's a sign. We're right under the Mogus. There's literally two baby ospreys right above us. No, oh my God, there's tidal waves coming, people. Everybody brace yourselves. And here comes Thurston Howell III in his yacht. Do you think we're making big enough waves, lovey? We surf's up, dude. <laughs> you got your life jacket on. Yeah. This is why you wear it, when it's rough. Surf's up. <laughs> uh, you can't see him. But there's two baby ospreys in there. I only saw one. <laughs> I can't whistle loud. Where's the baby? So look at this. I just tied one directly to this braid. So we got 20 pound braid on a little short. 20 heavy. pound? Yeah. Well, look at these lily pads and weeds. How am I supposed to hold that? The, <laughs> the line if doesn't weigh 20 if pounds. If it's 20 pounds, I'll be like. Here comes a fish. Here comes a fish. He's right behind it. I'm not joking. Can if you catch it? Noisy bay. So around weeds and lily pads, you can use this lure, right? And largemouth love walk the dog baits too. Oh. Yeah. You see the weeds here? You don't want, you can get snagged in them. Oh no. So you gotta look for areas. I'm the best for being snagged and <laughs> then like can't get out of so it. So you gotta look and for. And I'm like. You gotta look for pockets. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta look for pockets where there's no <laughs> thick weeds. Smallmouth can be found in some pretty shallow water during the summer. Oh my, this is Bass Alley. By looking at charts and scanning with the hummingbird, I easily found some rock shorelines with scattered weed patches. Jump off! Oh, oh. Caught one right out of front. Of oh! <laughs> Did you see a jump? I got the net. Oh, look at you! <laughs> it's gigantic. You just came out of that lily pad bay and I got the one with the braid on. It's ready for big largemouth. It's giant. Woo! Went looking for largemouth. And we got a small one. Oh, this thing's massive, girl. Come here, baby. Look at the size of this thing on a topwater bait. No, I'm taking this. It's taking the dog for a walk. Oh, I don't know how good he's hooked. It looks good. Ready? Tell me when you want me to net him. Okay, put the net in the water. Just the rim of it. Just put the rim in. More deeper. I got it. Oh, good girl. Look at the size of this <laughs> It's heavy. Wow. We're gonna need pliers. That's heavy. <clears throat> Holy. Under the chin, 
in the mouth. Did you see that thing go airborne, August? Want to hold it? Oh, wait, he's pooping. I don't want to hold it. Did you hear that? He's <laughs> pooping. Do you not see it pooping? I'll watch his poop off. That's the result of Walker the dog, August. Did you see that thing smash that lure and jump in the air? Yeah. Wow. Big bass. Measure him quick. Go grab oh. your measuring stick. What do you think? I think 20? 19. 19 and a half. Yeah. So we... Real close. Yeah. The four pounder. Beautiful. I'll put him back. Wicked. The Fishing Edge is brought to you by Minn Kota and Humminbird. To get the edge over the fish, we use the Lund 1875 Pro V Bass and Mercury 200 Pro XS to get on the water. We found the rocks using Humminbird's Helix 10 and positioned the boat with Minn Kota's Ultrax and Talon shallow water anchors. We cast the dual pitch on a 13 fishing 6 foot 7 medium heavy defy rod with 20 pound suffix braid and a 10 pound suffix fluorocarbon leader. I used CUDA split ring pliers to add dressed VMC treble hooks to fine tune the bait and a lucky strike net made sure all the fish were handled and released with care. There's a little corner here, the sun's shining. There's a good chance we might get an explosion right on this corner. I'm gonna cast right into the sun. Oh. Perfect August. Good practicing too, like you get good at accurate casting. Oh. You gotta listen and you hear a splash. You won't see it. August, look who's in front of us. <gasps> the lady! Shh, 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 shh. You see the one in the water? Yeah. And look on the back of the other loop. Yeah, he's so cute. Oh, look at this. See this, August? Yeah. What is this loon doing? Wow. Look at that. You got one. One hit it. Set the hook. <laughs> Did you see that? The loon went by. Is it? Is it on? It was right there. I saw your lure get sucked down. Pull. Real. Is it a fish? It's, it's got to be a fish. Oh, I think you got a muskie. Look at the way it's swimming. I'm going to swim beside it. Real, pull up. You got a muskie. No, it's oh, it's a big bass, August. Whoa. Okay, I got to get the net. You ready? <laughs> he just slurped today. Bring it to me, don't let it get off. <laughs> up this way, this way. Guide him, guide him up. Okay, no more. Oh! <laughs> I finally caught one. <laughs> we were distracted by the loon, and then we just saw a swirl in the water. And... I think it's bigger than yours. It's a big one. Hold you ripped his mouth. He's good. Here. No, no, don't step in. What do you? I want to be in the shot. Well, I can't hold him like that. And I gotta hold him on that side. In there? No, I have to hold on that side. What's that noise? <laughs> okay, belly him, quick, for the camera. Hold him up to the camera. <laughs> Big bass. Shall we gotta I let go? him go over here. Nice and slow. Big fish, kid. Whoops. Give me a hug. Oh. <laughs> no for it, kiddo. Well, there you go. I guess you might not be able to teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> now I can you. eat my chips. But you sure can <laughs> teach young kids. Well, the loon was pretty cool, eh? Yeah. Don't be afraid to challenge your kids next time you hit the woods or water. Chances are they'll probably be besting you in no time at all. Awesome! And that's how you walk the dog. <laughs> <laughs>